Woo! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. For today's ride, we are at the amazing World Trail Center, Coedy Brennan in Snowdonia. We visited Coedy Brennan a few weeks back on the channel, where we rode the Black Diamond MBR Trail with YouTuber Adventure Trails MTB. Oh, these are fun little turns. Well, today we'll finish off the ride with a whip around the Minotaur Trail. So let's get going. For newcomers to the trail, the Minotaur is a popular blue graded trail here in the forest. As well as being a fun flow trail, it also has a few hidden extras along the way, which I'll point out as we go. So here we go, Coveted Brennan. We've got gas from Adventure Trails MCB up ahead from Ben behind. And I'm on the cube stereo. Woo! At this point it had stopped raining, but the ground was still a little wet in places. The trail looks like it's recently undergone some maintenance. The riding surface is mostly hard packed gravel, which means it is pretty solid and can be ridden throughout the winter months. So a little wet weather wasn't going to stop us. As you can see, the trail gets straight into the action, with plenty of flowing descent sections and only a few small climbs. After the first little climb, you get this section with loads of switchbacks that casually makes its way down the hill. Some of the berms are a little loose in places with all the new gravel, but the track should become easier to ride the more wear it gets. This trail is a popular one with all types of riders. More advanced bikers use it regularly as a warm-up before moving on to the harder trails. It's also a great one for newcomers who want to experience what mountain biking is all about. But regardless of your skill level, you need to keep your eyes peeled on this trail, because you're being watched. The Minotaur Trail could originally be ridden in three separate loops, depending on the length of ride you wanted to do. You can ride a 3, 6 or 9 km loop, depending on your abilities. Now, with another trail extension, you can do what we did and ride the full trail, which is somewhere around the 12 km mark. This is just what you want from a blue trail, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There's enough to keep you bobbing and weaving around. Yeah. It's the Minotaur. I'll keep pointing out these types of features as we ride. Oh, so flowy, this is lovely. All these extra little treats are not things you usually see on a mountain bike trail, but I genuinely enjoyed the addition of a bit of a narrative as I was riding. Finding the silver hoof prints and the minotaur hanging from behind a tree is all a bit out of the ordinary, but I definitely see the fun side of this trail. The whole of the Minotaur undulates quite a bit, and there are a couple of large climbs on the trail that I remember. These are long enough to get a bit of a workout, and they have a few switchbacks and things thrown in to make things easier, and slightly more exciting. But as with any woodland trail on the side of a steep Welsh hill, you need a certain level of fitness to complete the longer trail. The whole Minotaur route is well thought out. It follows the terrain nicely and takes in some pretty awesome sights along the way. The actual trail itself does well to be interesting. With the addition of some berms, rollers and a couple of small jumps, this trail keeps you moving as it wiggles its way along the hillside. Ooh, look at this! So we may be chugging along a fire road at this point, but the scenery is amazing. River, waterfalls, trees, beautiful. Welcome to Wales. The longer loop of the Minotaur Trail takes in some of the original features of the area. Apparently the trail passes a disused gold mine and a gunpowder works. So if you have the time to stop, you can check these out. However, the most spectacular feature that you come across is this awesome waterfall. You certainly don't see this at every trail centre. Back on the trail, we made our way to the next section. On the day we visited, we'd just ridden the black graded MBR trail. 
With our big ride done, we were just looking for a trail to enjoy at the end of the day. And to be honest, the Minotaur trail hit the spot perfectly. After doing the MBR loop, we were all riding our big full suspension bikes. Although really comfortable, they felt like overkill for this trail. With all the rollers and smooth twisting corners, you could really shred this trail on an aggressive hardtail. Not that this trail isn't suited for full suspension bikes, Hiya. I just think things would get really fun pumping through some of the sections and berms on a hardtail. We all agreed that the longer route was definitely the best option, although our legs were pretty much jelly at this point after riding the MBR route beforehand, however, this next section made all the climbing well worth it. After the super flowy fun descent, you make your way back along the last couple of sections towards the trail centre. There's nothing overly technical on this part of the trail, but even the view from the fire road was awesome. Heroes return, last section. There's still a little bit of climbing to be done on this very last part of the trail, so make sure you save a tiny bit of energy. There are so many trails to enjoy here at Cody Brennan, but I would honestly ride this one again given the chance. It was a bit of fun, pure and simple. We've made it, we're back. So, we made it back to the trail centre, and I hope you enjoyed this flow around the Minotaur Trail. If you did, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll catch you next Friday for another mountain bike adventure. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.